This is Jill Maurer with Your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering a question I hear a lot, and that is, on which hand should I wear my watch? My answer is always the same. You shouldn't wear your watch on your hand. I recommend wearing it on your wrist. Joking aside, people do want to know which wrist they should wear their watch on. Most people wear their watch on their left hand, and the reason is most people wear their watch on their non-dominant hand. Because more people are right-handed than left-handed, more people wear their watch on their left hand. Why is this? Why would we want to wear a watch on the wrist of our non-dominant hand? This probably started because your non-dominant hand is less active in daily life, and therefore you're less likely to damage the watch if you're wearing it on that wrist. Throughout the day, you're doing a lot more with your dominant hand. You're more likely to use it to do almost every activity, to use tools. Even if you're going to retrieve something, stick your hand into water to get something, you're usually going to use your dominant hand to do that. It's also easier to check the time on your non-dominant hand if you're doing something that is using your dominant hand, like writing or using a tool. It's a lot easier to just check it on your non-dominant wrist. Most people do wear their watch on their non-dominant hand, but this is not a hard and fast rule. There are plenty of right-handed people who wear a watch on their right wrist, and there are plenty of left-handed people who wear a watch on their left wrist. Most often, the winder on a watch is on the right side, making it easier for somebody to wear the watch on their left wrist and wind it with their right wrist. For that reason alone, a lot of left-handed people will wear the watch on their left hand. However, there are left-handed watches made, they're just harder to find. And you don't have to be wearing your watch when you wind it. If you wanna wear a watch that's uncomfortable for you to wind while wearing it, just wind it or set it or do whatever to it when you take the watch off. I often do this even though I am right-handed. If I'm really going to take the time to set the watch or adjust it, I usually take the watch off, do that, and then put the watch back on. The other question I get about which wrist to wear the watch on, they'll say if I'm a woman or if I'm a man. Which wrist should a man wear a watch on or a woman? There's no difference. If you look at my wrists and you look at a man's wrists, they're remarkably similar. The watch rules are the same for men and women. This is kind of a pet peeve as a jewelry designer. There's a lot of gender bias in design that doesn't make any sense. This is another area where it wouldn't make sense for there to be some sort of different rule if you're male or female. I am Jill Maurer, I am a jewelry designer, and I love taking the mystique or the intimidation out of buying and wearing jewelry. I have a whole playlist of short videos where I answer questions about jewelry. You can check that out here. If you have a jewelry question for me, just ask me in the comments below. Until next time.